So today we are talking business credit, how to build or establish business credit. Uh, so you've been hearing a lot of junk and BS on the sites. They, they people come out and they jump around. They tell you, we'll get your LLC today, and in three days, two thousand, two hundred thousand dollars worth of business loans and financing, and you just get your LLC yesterday. And your personal credit don't matter, and uh, it don't matter. They just gonna get yeah, no, no. So today we're gonna try and fix a few rumors and just outright lies as far as building business credit. So let's start off as. What is business credit? So business credit is basically when you have an LLC or, um, or a similar type entity, that entity itself has its own EIN number. That EIN number is akin to your social security number. So when you're running personal credit or checking personal credit on a person, you want their social, that's how you pull up their credit to see their credit and see if you, you know, if they're going to be approved or not. So for business, it's different. A business doesn't have a social security number. It has an EIN number. So when you pull, when you want to check the business credit, you're going to pull that EIN number and check the credit. So um, business credit, again, it, you know, when you got an LLC and once you start and you're going to start hearing things like trade lines. And yes, you do want to build these and you can get them. And yes, you might can go out and get a little money at once. Like you can get some business credit cards for, you know, to a couple of grand. They will approve you something like that. But these people who are on YouTube telling you that you're going to start today and in three days you're going to get 300 um you know, three hundred thousand dollars worth of business credit, and your your personal credit is bad. Your business has no credit. It just got established a week ago. Not going to happen. So we're not going, you know, fake and talk that. But there are real things, you know, that you can do to build your credit. So you do, you do want to start getting some trade lines. Google trade lines. There's a lot of information here. You got to be really do some research yourself. Trade lines are basically things that are like credit accounts for your business. So you can get them with different companies. Uh, a lot of people get them with Sam's Clubs. You hear people get the gas card. I'll give you a, a pro tip here. Quill is one of them. Get you an account with Quill. Quill's going to start building credit on your business under that business name. Not your personal, under the business. A lot of your stuff is on personal. You want to start building a business credit. So um, let's get in a few questions here. Um, see what my son thinking about. He, I'm sure he got a few questions. He monitors the internet. He's going to have a few questions from there. Um, if y'all put y'all questions in the comment, please do, and I will respond to them best I can. So, uh, so give me uh, anything that's entering your mind or any questions off the internet that are coming in. What you think? So let's just say um, um, I'm a newly graduated college student, and um, let's say I'm an IT professional, and um, my spouse is a doctor, and together we make, say, $400,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And we both... Um, both before we were married um decided to you know buy homes mm -hmm. if say we wanted to buy a third home mm -hmm. how would that process work going putting that through business credit and what would be you know the difference in you know just buying it ourselves as opposed to putting it you know in the business name uh, so if y'all already have if she has a house in her name you have a house in your name mm -hmm. depending on the cost of those houses but Eight times out of ten, even though you're making good money, four hundred thousand, those houses are probably two, three hundred dollars a house, two, three hundred thousand dollars a piece. And the bottom line is, y'all debt to income is going to be maxed at that point. So they're not going to let you buy another house because you just don't have the income to do it. Let's say you're doing two hundred thousand a year and you got a three hundred thousand dollar house. Um, no, I'm sorry, you could have, you may have enough room with that type of income to get a, a, a more of a house. But let's just say you had bought a half a million dollars house. Your income is $200,000 a year. You bought a half a million dollar house. You're about maxed out as far as what they're going to lend you because that house has cost so much, you know, to your income, debt to income. Now, if you were to go and buy the other house, if you could, now you will not start it next last week and think you're going to do this. But if you had, say you went through my program, you started your LLC a year ago, you've been building business line, trade lines, you got the, the business credit established. So now, yes, you could put that in the business name. And it ain't going to affect your DTI. So even though your DTI is kind of maxed out personally, you put that in the business so you can get the third house. It could be for a rental um, property. You keep the third house in the business name and be able to do that as you would not be able to finance another house in your name because okay. your DTI would be messed up. Um, so if that answers your question. Okay. Um, what would you say mm -hmm. to a younger person? There are some um, you know, naive individuals out there who... They basically see credit as free money. They get a credit card, they spend it, and they're not really, you know, concerned about their credit score. Um, so they just spend the money on their credit card and they leave it alone. You telling them that getting a business card that they're able to put stuff on and it's not even in their name, tell, 
tell me what would be, you know, consequences of somebody, say, getting a business card, you know, maxing it out and not paying it, not paying for, you know, the expenses that they put on the card. So, um, a couple answers here. So with business credit, you're going to start, let's, let's talk about the levels of business credit. Uh, first, I think that'll be a, um, uh, relevant to your um, question here. Um, you, you got a couple different steps of business credit. So one, you got PG. So with PG, um, now, but you're, when you're starting off, you're not going to have anything cause they're not going to put anything in your business name, basically. But when you get here, the next first step is going to be, they'll give you some type of business loan with PG. And what that means, you're personally guaranteeing it. So that means say you have, um, um, Mike's, uh, car rentals, LLC, you rent cars out, blah, blah, blah. And you get, um, you need a loan. You need to buy some more cars you can rent out. So you need a hundred thousand dollars to buy some cars. They give you a hundred thousand dollars. It's under Mike's LLC, blah, blah, blah. And they're going to, but at this level here, again, you start here, middle up here, we, we're going to talk about up here in a minute, but middle level, they're going to require a PG. So while it's not going to go in your credit when you sign the day, it's not going to show up on your credit. But if you were to not pay, like you're saying, it would, it's called default. So if you default on that card and don't pay it back, then it will come back and hit your personal because you personal guaranteed it. So then it comes back and hits your personal credit and it shows, Hey, you didn't pay that. Your credit score tanks. Now, when you go to get a card, the people going to be like, nah. We ain't, so that's that's your question. It go, it is going to come back and hit your personal. You know what I mean? Unless you have up here. Now this is the the gold standard. If you've been in business long enough, you got enough credit line that you're doing money where they say okay, like um you don't have to be as big as a Microsoft, but like just just take Microsoft, Google, um Android, any of Samsung. They are strictly businesses. So when they go get ten billion dollars. No personal guarantee is needed because the company's credit is so strong by itself. They don't have to guarantee it with a PG. And you don't have to be as big as them. You see it's other you know, people around here, like your, your, your local McDonald's owner. His, his business credit is probably so established where he don't have to PG it. Now, in that case, if you didn't have to PG it and you default on that and don't pay it, it would not reflect on you. But that's the gold standard. That's where you want to get. So if you do, not just to get a card and run it up and don't pay it, but let's just say you are in business and stuff happened in 10 years from now, the business fail and it goes out of business. Again, none of those would come back affecting you and hurting your personal credit because you're 100% enveloped in that business credit with no PG. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Yep. All right. Um, if you see any other questions come in before I wrap this up, you think about it, just let me know. But other than that, yeah, business credit, again, it takes time to build. And I gave you a few pro tips here. Quill is one. Quill. You have to find out companies that actually, um, you know, do business credit and um, actually, um, you know, either business experience, uh, what's the other one, Duns and Bradstreet. You want companies that um, reflect or report to these credit agencies that are for your business, like Dunn and Bradstreet. That's a huge one. So make sure Quill is one of them. They report on that. They'll give you a line of credit under there. There are several more of these are pro tips. Now, if you do say you know 10 of them right now, you get open these accounts, five of them, start paying on them, you know what I mean? And building that credit and being in six months of a year, you'll be able to go in there and get a PG loan. You can go in and get 40, 50 grand. Right now, the Biden administration has done a lot for minorities and small businesses. So you can, if you have decent personal credit, you can really go into a bank now and get $30,000, $40,000 um, if you have personal good credit. And they'll give you a chance on the business credit because your personal credit is good. But you cannot, when you hear these people on these YouTube channels jump around, oh, I don't worry about you. Your, your personal credit is bad. Oh, just go apply and get it in your business name and get the three Sprinter brands and do that. No, nope, nope, nope. There's some work like that. And I, 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 I hate that they do that. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done, but it, it takes time of building. Uh, I've been building business credit on our business uh, for over five years. So let that sink. So I'm, I've, I've been doing this. I do it. So y'all got any questions? Like the video. Let's push it out. Comment on it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to push out more videos. We got how to establish LLCs. Uh, we appreciate you coming in. Like I say, comment on it. We're going to be pushing more stuff out like this and we'll catch you on the next one.